the state of Florida has officially banned sex education from its sex education courses. Under the direction of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the Department of Education has ordered that all classes must now promote abstinence and cannot include discussions of sex, contraception, and can no longer use diagrams or pictures of reproductive health organs. Because, you know, that makes a whole lot of sense. But to be fair, I remember I was I, I had sex education in seventh grade. Uh, and boy, this diagram right here. Oh, my God. Woof. Sexual anarchy. Wow. Oh, man. I'm going to have to recover from that. <laughs> so, no, look. Um, seriously, though, this is an expansion of Florida law that had already previously mandated that sex ed lessons emphasize the benefits of sexual abstinence. Uh, as the expected standard and the consequences of teenage pregnancy for grades 6 through 12. However, now the state has come in and just did a takeover, okay? They've removed all local control of any additional information school districts can provide their students on this subject, meaning that it is Ron DeSantis and the Florida legislature that are going to have the final word on what kind of sex ed topics your children will learn in school. Now, there's a memo that was written by Broward County administrators obtained by the Orlando Sentinel, which summarized the district's verbal interactions with state officials regarding their takeover of sex ed in the state. Now, the state had actually provided no written instruction for districts, just the verbal memo. So here's what they said. Quote, pictures of external sexual reproductive anatomy should not be included in, at any grade level. Contraceptions, uh, contraceptives are not part of any health or science standard, but they could be mentioned as a health resource through uh, though pictures, activities, or demonstrations that illustrate their usage should not be included in any instruction in any grade level. Not only that, but again, it, it literally banned talking about sex. They said uh, different types of sex uh, cannot be part of instruction in any grade level. So it makes it kind of difficult to teach sex ed without being able to mention any of that aforementioned stuff, which I think is kind of the point. Uh, now, previously, Orange County schools had started their lessons in fifth grade with one class purely devoted to the physical changes of puberty, which makes sense. High schoolers had discussions about contraception and STIs, so they were kind of doing it, you know, in an age-appropriate way, which makes sense, right? Um, now, that said, those are scrapped with now a one-size-fits-all Florida from the top mandate from DeSantis's office. The state must now approve any additional curriculum, which means local districts will now be forced to cancel sex ed classes altogether until the state addresses and either approves or rejects their plans. Well, once again, that's the whole point, to take it over and say, no, we now mandate what your children will learn. Look, Republicans in Florida don't want young people to learn about sex. That includes how to protect themselves, which again is both foolish and dangerous. The reality is that teens that receive comprehensive sex education are actually less likely to do uh, risky sexual behavior. There's evidence of this, okay? Research, uh, researchers actually studied the impact of sex education on youth sexual risk taking for young people ages 15 to 19 and found that teens who received comprehensive sex education were 50% less likely to experience pregnancy than those who received abstinence-only education. According to researcher Douglas Kirby for the National Campaign to End Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy, comprehensive sex ed programs lead to a 40% delay in sexual initiation, a reduction in the number of sexual partners, or increasing condom and contraceptive uh, use which again reduces un unplanned uh, pregnancy and of course kind of use reduces STI. Uh, in fact, there's a, also a 30% reduced frequency of sex, including a return to abstinence. So it turns out that if you want people to be abstinent, teach them comprehensive sex education and they'll be more likely to choose to not do it now that they know the risks and how to protect themselves and what could happen. Uh, and of course, there was also a 60% reduction in unprotected sex. So that said, Congress also did a study on abstinence-only education. You know what they found? That it did nothing. 
to help youth delay sex for a significant period of time, nor did it help youth decrease the number of sex partners or reduce STI or pregnancy rates among teens. So we know what already works, comprehensive sex ed. We know what doesn't work, abstinence only. And yet you see the direction that Florida Republicans are going in. It just doesn't work. DeSantis is doubling down on stuff that doesn't work and it's actually putting young people at risk. I thought you're supposed to be uh, pro-life, right? Uh, well, one of those things uh, at being pro-life is to prevent unplanned pregnancy in the first place, because that's one of the reasons that people end up getting abortions. You reduce that, and you reduce the number of abortions. It, it's logical, but again, they're not they're not operating from a place of logic. Uh, now, here's the thing: it, it's actually become somewhat comical how much Florida has decided to ban, okay? Elisa Barr, professor of public health at University of North Florida and a member of the sex advocacy group, uh, sex ed advocacy group, Florida Healthy Youth Alliance, has actually been compiling a list of words and phrases that they've been told to remove from their reproductive health plans. These words include abuse, consent, domestic violence, gender identity, and LGBTQ information, and Fluids. That's right. You're going to remove the word fluids. You can't talk about fluids? Really? It's literal scientific fact. And how it applies here is, well, fluids are a way that STIs can transfer from one person to another. So it's kind of important to talk about fluids. But you can't do it in Florida. No, 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 no. The word fluids, the word moist... Banned in Florida, apparently, uh, in the schools. I mean, look, the verbal feedback that Orange School District officials got was plain, okay? What they're supposed to teach is only in the state textbook, all right? Now, the state textbook preaches abstinence only as the only effective way to prevent STIs in pregnancy. No mention of contraception whatsoever. Now, the text also encourages students to go on group dates, rather than spend time alone. Right, because that'll work. Now look, uh, is absence effective? Yeah, yeah, it is. Is it the only effective way? No, no, it's not. What they're doing in Florida is setting up a lot of future unplanned teen pregnancies and increased levels of STIs. That is going to be the end result of all of this. Okay, and I think that they know that and just don't care. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.